Now we're going to do substitution for examples 4, 5, and 6. Again, it's a little different. It doesn't say x equals a number. It says x equals some letters and numbers. So we still plug everything in the x spot because it says x equals. But what goes inside of that spot is not going to be just a number. So we're going to leave a big space plus 8y equals 16. And in the x spot, we'll go what x equals. 2y minus 4. Now we combine like terms and solve for y. 2y and 8y are both positive. So this is 2y, not minus, because that goes with the 4. 2y plus 8 is 10y. Bring down the minus 4. Add 4 to both sides. Divide by 10. You get y is 2. Now take the 2 and plug it into either one of these equations. I'm going to plug it into the top one because it's already solved for x and that's what I need. So x equals 2, y goes there. So I'm substituting in 2. This is the substitution method. 4 minus 4 is 0. So the answer should be 0, 2. <coughs> Excuse me. Which means when you graph it, it's going to cross at 0, 2. But we didn't graph, we used the substitution method to show us. Okay, I'm going to menu 3, 2 this to make sure that my answer is correct. Menu 3, 2. And I get x equals 2, y minus 4. Uh oh, that should be 2. I didn't press it. Now we do x equals 2y minus 4, x plus 8y equals 16. We're going to press enter. We get 0, 2, 0, 2. We've done this correctly. And now let's go ahead and do the next example. Uh-oh. We see that nothing is solved for anything. So you have to pick an equation to solve. And honestly, the first equation is going to be easier to solve than the second one. Please excuse the noise outside. Okay, and how do I know this one is going to be easier to solve? I look at the y and there's nothing in front of it. So I can just move this away and y would be by itself. If I look at this here, there's something on the y and on the x. Not a good choice to pick. So let's pick the top one. And to solve it for y, I have to add 2x to both sides. Cancel, cancel. y equals 2x plus 8. Now that I know what y equals, this goes into the second equation. So 3x plus 2, put in, in here, equals 9. Notice this looks just like him, except I took the y away. And why did I do that? 2x plus 8 will go in its place. So in this side I write 2x plus 8. Now we have to do a little more math. Because I have parentheses and a number in front, I have to distribute the 2. So this becomes 3x plus 4x plus 16 equals 9. That is 7x plus 16 equals 9. Subtract 16 on both sides. 7x equals what is 16 on minus 16? Negative 7. Good job. Divide by 7. 
And what is that? Is it zero or negative one? It's negative one. So now we have x. We need to find y. So you can plug it into either one of these. I'm going to choose this one because it's already solved for y. y equals 2 plus 8. What number goes in here? x. Negative 2 plus 8 is 6. So the solution for this problem is negative 1, 6. I do admit this one is a harder problem, but if you can do it, you'll be ready for algebra 2. You can check it using menu 32. Negative 2x plus y equals 8. 3x plus 2y equals 9. Negative 1, 6. So we have, we did it by hand. Now we're going to do the, the last problem. Now, which equation should we pick to solve for a letter? I'm going to pick, good job, don't pick the first one because it has a letter here and here. You're going to pick the equation that doesn't have a number, I said letter, I meant number, doesn't have a, it has a number here and it has a number here. But in the second equation, the x does not have a number. So pick him. Think about it, that's what we did over here. The y didn't have a number. That's how I knew to pick this one and solve for that letter. So he doesn't have a number. So pick him and solve for that letter. That means move 4y to the other side. And x equals 4y plus 11. So now this is what x equals. Where do I put this in the other equation? Okay, so now we have 4y minus 5, put a parentheses for something that's going to go there, equals 9. Now what goes in here? The x. 4y plus 11. So this is 4y minus, so you have to distribute 20y, and then a negative 5 has to be multiplied to positive 11. Okay, now we combine like terms. 4 minus 20 is negative 16. Add 55 to both sides. And we get 64. Divide by negative 16. Cancel, cancel. We get negative 4. So we're almost there. We don't know this one yet. So take negative 4 and plug it into this equation or this one. Well, since he is the same thing as that, except transformed, let me use this one because it's already solved for what I need. So 4, put in the y value. Negative 16 plus 11. And so what do we get for the x value? Negative 5. And so negative 5 comma negative 4 is the answer. I'm going to menu 3 to this to make sure I did it right. And we're going to put in 4y minus 5x equals 9. x minus 4y equals 11. And we got it right. 
okay.